Fora TV. The world is thinking. Coal has been getting public subsidies for decades. There are 24,000 people a year dying because of coal emissions from outdated coal fire power plants. On December 23rd, we saw firsthand what happens because the coal industry has been so successful at getting huge loopholes in the regulatory scheme for coal ash, a complete disaster in Tennessee. That cleanup is going to cost $825 million. The coal industry doesn't play on a level playing field. At every step of the process, there are huge subsidies and loopholes. On the mining side, they're allowed to destroy Appalachia and just call that an externality. On the burning side, emitting huge amounts of mercury and carbon dioxide and soot and smog pollution. And on the ash side, as we saw with TVA, all these loopholes, and they talk about a public good, there are huge public consequences. So when we look at how we're gonna solve these problems, it's critical that we look at the entire picture. And Ray, you're simply wrong. Last year, wind produced more jobs and more megawatts of electricity, new generation, than, than coal uh, by fourfold. 8,000 megawatts of new wind. So the notion that wind is not ready is simply ludicrous. We are I didn't say that. I just said that. The, this should, year we'll have half as many wind projects as last year because there's no way to fund them. Well, there is no, simply no way to fund them. And that goes unless back the to government pays. Everybody goes to Washington and says, I need this if I'm going to build a wind farm. There will be, it was $16 billion worth of, of, of wind projects projected for 2009. Yep. It simply won't happen without government funding. Because energy demand is down and the coal, these old clunkers are it stopping us. It has nothing to do with energy, man. Yes, Nobody's it does because putting we, money into it. We don't it. need new generation because these old clunkers are still operating from the Eisenhower administration. If we shut those down, we'd make up the market, we'd open up the market for clean energy, I think we and could, then we'd have the utilities I am back. totally on your side, Bruce. We could build five times the number of wind. But I, wind works. I love wind. Who's going to pay for it? Let's pay for it. Wind. Write checks. Get President Obama to write a check and, and triple the number of wind projects. And then, okay. then, right. then we'll right. still Because you will not get private equity to do it right now. And you'll still have 5% of our electricity coming from wind, and you're still going to need coal. The reality is it is not a replacement. It, they are substitute. They're not substitutes. They are complementary fuels. To John Wellinghoff from FERC, the chair of FERC, said last Sunday, we do not need to build a single new coal plant. Well, he I said think we can do it with energy efficiency and clean energy. And That's what the what expert said. in the United States here's what we said. Here's what we said to the chairman's remarks there. Number one. Square that up with uh, EIA's projection of a 25% increase in the use of, uh, in the demand for electricity, 16% increase in the use of coal. Square that up with the NERC assessment that's talking about extreme reliability problems associated with, res with shrinking reserve margins. And then also square that up with what's going on around the world. I think Secretary Chu has said it. There is no such thing as a perfect energy resource. Anybody in this room who thinks that, I hope you leave here tonight to get that. I'll be the first person to admit that coal has its problems. Everything else has its problems. But Secretary Chu has said it very right when he has said, and I think President Obama is very pragmatic yeah, about uh, this. Just, We're going to need to use coal. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get just two short examples. Very two, short. Two short very examples, short. okay? Then get I sit on the board of an advanced solar thermal company. Company, one of the best in the world. We cannot get a project funded. Cannot. So we're going to change that business. We have five PPA signed, cannot implement one of them. We're going to change the business into a booster and commercial steam business. Secondly, the hydromethanation I talked about, converting coal, gasifying coal to make natural gas, nowhere in the United States. We had a site in Illinois, the future gen site. We had a site in Texas. Can't get it funded. It goes to China because China will pay for it. China will build the plant, pay for the plant, because they have lots of coal they want to convert into natural gas. The United States, we can't get you know, private funding. The problem is the economy right now. Now, hopefully that gets fixed. But the problem is the economy. Solar thermal's ready, wind's ready, absolutely. But it's going to take a lot of it. And that's okay. why we've got to shut down some of these old coal plants to open up the market and get the utilities back in the business of building new clean generation. All right.